Hey everybody, Rob Mauer here, and today we're taking out FSD Veda 10.1 for a drive with an unprotected left. We've got a roundabout, some other things with downtown Milwaukee. Jossum is out flying the drone, so we'll get some different shots than what we normally have, uh, and hopefully we'll get some interesting things and see how the Veda does. So we've got it set up. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in drive now. And of course we're starting off in the middle of a roundabout. As we like to do, we'll see if the Beta lets us start off here. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit. Okay, there we go. And I'll just engage and we're off. So we're just gonna come out of this roundabout. Uh, <laughs> now turn right on to a little figuring out there. Boulevard. We'll come out of the roundabout here and then head to that unprotected left uh, straight away. So we don't have any cross traffic here. Should be pretty standard, but it looks like it is creeping. We're wanting to creep a little bit, just to make sure. I'm not gonna give it any accelerator. If I were just driving normally, that's where I would just give it some pedal and just let it know it's clear to go. So here's our unprotected left. Uh, I think we got four lanes and we've got some beautiful porter potties blocking our view. Uh, and sort of a we got a corner over there that's also making it a little bit tricky for any oncoming traffic, which we don't have right now. So we're getting some creeping. All right, and we should be good to go. We got a pedestrian here. Um, again, I'm not going to give it an accelerator. We got a Jeep coming. And yeah, so now it's stopped, and we're in the middle of the intersection. No cars coming, but there's one coming there. So we're going to have to get out here. And it's not doing it, so I gotta take over. So, not great. It kind of just stopped us out in the middle of no man's land and uh, wasn't decisive enough. If I would have given it an accelerator, a little bit of acceleration, I think it would have... I think in these beta versions, I think it's really just waiting for that input out of an abundance of caution. Um, because unless you're trying to see what it will do, if you're driving and paying attention, there's no problem to confirm with the accelerator that that things are good. But in our case, we're really just trying to see what the system will do sort of on its own. So let me figure out our navigation here um, and we'll continue on our route. We might lose the drone footage a little bit, uh, so we might switch out a little bit of the camera stuff that's going on here, but uh, we're going to head to that sort of hairpin turn area and then the roundabout section that we've gone through a couple times and we'll see if we can we haven't had a lot of instances with traffic in that roundabout we'll see if we pick up any this time for whatever reason we're taking this out at Thursday at 11 30 a.m. Um, for whatever reason there hasn't been or for whatever reason there seems to be a decent amount of traffic so far today so uh, we'll see what we see Obviously right now we're just on uh, Lincoln Memorial Drive, which I think you guys have seen a couple of times now. Which Autopilot works really well on in general. Or the FSD beta rather. All right, so we're taking a right here. We're going a little little quick, but slowing down okay. We're taking a right here and we're going up into that hairpin, little hairpin area. And then that'll carry right into the roundabout. While we're doing that, I'll try to re-navigate us to sort of our end point. Bear left onto North Terrace Avenue, then turn right onto East North Avenue. So very solid so far. This is kind of the sharpest part of this section. Got a car coming there. Great, really good. Bear left onto North Terrace Avenue. I don't know that I would have driven that any differently. So this is weird because we've got a left turn, we've got cars coming. Uh, that was very close, very close. So we got a left turn out of here, and then we got an immediate right turn into a roundabout. And I just have to give it accelerator. Now turn right onto East just North that Avenue. Coming. Um, it seems to be that the <laughs> where it wants to drive is often right. It's just not super confident sometimes. 
Okay, so we're going through the roundabout here. Which was good, but again, no traffic, so not not the most interesting of parts. And then we're going to go down Lake Drive here. And it's trying to go around this car. Okay, so I don't want that. Obviously, <laughs> we can't pass them. All right, so re-engaged. Uh, sometimes the beta will do that. It'll just kind of eh, try to edge around those those parked car or the stopped cars, even though they obviously should be the lead car instead. And now we're heading back, and we'll take sort of a little windy road. And usually there's cars parked on the side here, sometimes people getting in and out. We got four-way stops. This is more of like the scenic area of downtown Lake Drive. Nice area. So it saw that pedestrian slowing down, and now we're clear. So I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but when there's a pedestrian in the path, it will turn to a darker gray, like a lead car would, just visualizing that it is waiting for that car or person or bicycle, whatever is whatever is in your path, it will turn to the, to the dark gray. In 500 feet, turn right onto East Newberry Boulevard. So on these types of roads where you have the really clean, clear lane markings, now turn the beta right functions really well, East and that's where Newberry people are mostly Boulevard. going to be using it. You know, if you've got a roundabout like that, most people are probably just going to take over, drive it manually, but there's still a ton of value of these more simple situations having, having now the beta. Turn right onto North Lake Park Road. We can't see really well. I'm guessing it'll creep pretty slowly here, and then we've got these pedestrians, which I would like it to just go so they're not confused. Uh, but they don't seem to be crossing anyway, so we're good. And it's selling me navigation complete. And we got a person gonna cross here. Okay, I'm gonna give it accelerator just so they're not confused. So they're obviously yielding for us. Which again, the beta is going to be more cautious uh, and just wait for you to confirm those types of things, which is no problem in this stage. <laughs> and now we're in a parking lot and it's, there's no route for it, so. All right, so we are going to take another attempt at the same unprotected left and see if we can do any better on this second go around. So we're just going to jump right into it right away. Now turn left onto North Lake and so we're actually Drive. Very clear right now. And we'll see if it realizes that. It's showing creep on the display. We're going a little bit into the left and we're going. Alright. Not not bad. It waited a little bit until there were cars coming when it had clear earlier, but overall not bad and it, it took it um, that time with obviously less traffic to deal with. So, yeah, not bad.